You have the right to remain... Vintage? Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Bumblebee Movie Nitro Series, Barricade! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have the Bumblebee Movie logo, we got Bumblebee doing his karate, we got Barricade there, and on the side we have Bumblebee, on the other side we have a Barricade, on the bottom we have words and things and barcodes and stuff, on the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. It does this, that, the other. You also have the instructions back here. Caution, attention, precaution, cuidado, warning. Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Barricade. Now, I know when I last reviewed one of these Energon Igniter figures, I said I wasn't going to buy any more of these. I, w I was done. I was done buying these. But, um, Barricade! Barricade. Barricade's my homeboy. I'm a Barricade fanboy. I'm sorry. So I had to pick this guy up. And while I was at it, I also, uh, I also bought, bought these two. <laughs> Save me from myself! Anyway... So yeah, it turns out we're going to be reviewing a couple more of these Energon Igniter figures. Now these are the bigger size class from the uh, smaller ones that I reviewed, the uh, Bumblebee and Optimus that I reviewed previously. Um, so you know, they're, they're, they're a little bit better, not by much, but they're a little better. But anyway, here we have Uncle Barry, as I like to call him, and we'll get in close there so we can take a look at the details. You do have a lot of a nice... Got metal gray paint up front there, as well as on the wheel wells. The rims are also painted. Decepticon symbol right there on the hood. It's got some stripage going down the sides. You got the windshield and windows just done in black. Light bar done in red and blue. And again, you got the back wheel well there. Also painted in that gunmetal gray. Nothing in the back. There's the top. There's the bottom. Rolls as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. You can get a good spin out of it too. So yeah, you know, barricade as a more, uh, as an older looking uh, police car there. So there you have that. And for comparison, here it is with the last night deluxe barricade. And as you can see, uh, this one is uh, quite, quite a bit larger. And here it is with the Energon Igniter Bumblebee. Just so you can see how that works out. And again, uh, a bit larger there. Now, of course, this being part of the Energon Igniter lineage, it does have the Energon Igniter core here, and it's done in transparent red with some silver paint on it. And all of these are different molds, which I do quite like. I wasn't expecting them to all be different molds. I thought they were just going to use one and just, you know, give it to each figure. But no, they're all different molds, which is pretty cool. But to use it on Barricade here, you just want to uh, pop open his hood, which also reveals some guns. And we just take this, drop it down. Go, get, whoop, whoop, whoop. Go, there we go. Work with me. Work with me, Barry. Work with me. There we go. So you just pop that down. And you just push down. And the lever here. Release it. And... Woo! He rides away. It's fun. Good times. Good times. Woo! Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. There we go. Shall we? I have to do this now. This is just a thing I have to do in all these videos now. I have to... I gotta hit the camera. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Oh! Fender bender. Anyway. So, there you go. I do like the gimmick. I like the gimmick. So, you know... I will give credit where it's due. I do find the gimmick quite amusing. So, hey. Granted, though, he doesn't move too fast with this thing, though, which is kind of funny. It's just, uh, I, have to, I have to show you here. Like, it's just, oops, it got stuck. <laughs> like, uh, it doesn't move all that fast. 
So he would literally be involved in the world's slowest high-speed chase, but you know, hey, still, it's still, it's, I find the gimmick amusing, nonetheless. But that is basically it for the vehicle mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's! So, let me raise up so I got some room to operate. Transformation is quite simple. We do want to leave uh, these panels open here. So we're just going to come back here, and you just want to pop this whole back section up. Flip the legs down, split them, just flip out the feet, and they will thoop into place. There are locking points that does thoop when you bring it up and you get a little click there when you're going into vehicle mode. Just bring the feet up, and we got that done, and we move on to the upper body, and we just take the arms, bring them out and down. You just want to rotate his hands so it's all oriented properly. Give him his elbows there. And then we just come under here, just pop up his head, just bring that all the way up, bring the chest down, and now we can bring the head down. And that is it. And there you have a barricade in his robot mode. And as you can see, you know, it's a simplistic design, a simplistic transformation, you know, nothing fantastically amazing, but it's Barricade! I had to get it because it's Barricade. I like Barricade. But let's get in close here. So we can take a look at that head sculpt. The head sculpt, I think anyway, is quite nicely done. You got some nice silver paint there on the face. The eyes are painted in red. So I do quite dig the head sculpt. I think that looks quite, quite nice in my opinion. Get a closer look at those guns there on his shoulders. Those are nicely detailed as well. You got some nice detail here in the shoulders as well as down the forearms. You got hands, which do have 5mm ports on them, as you can see. So if you want to plug weapons into his hands, you can. Um, he does have a hole in his belly, unfortunately, because that's where his head goes for transformation. And there's nothing to fill that space in when he's in robot mode. Um, you do have the most detail going down the legs, and the lower legs are just the car, which the feet. It does have some more detail for the heels, at least. So, and moving up the back, not a whole lot to speak about. So, there you go. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, he can look up and down. Is it? This is is this a ball joint? No, not sure now. No, I think it is a ball joint. Yeah, it's a ball joint. Yeah, 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 it's a ball joint. Didn't seem like it was for a second there, but yeah. Up and down, down, rotate. You get a little bit, a little bit of wiggle waggle. A little bit of wiggle waggle. That's what made me think it's not a ball joint, but it is. I can, I can actually see it up in there. It's a ball joint. Definitely a ball joint. Definitely, definitely, definitely a ball joint. Anyway. So, arms can rotate. They can move in and out that far. You do have 90 degrees of a bend at the elbow. You do have wrist rotation. Uh, nothing at the waist. Uh, the legs cannot move forward. They cannot move back. They can only move outward. They can move out that far. There's no rotation of any kind. Knee, you do get full range of movements, and that's just due to the transformation. And his toes can move down if you need them to, and that's basically it. So, not a whole lot to speak about posability wise. And if you want, we can bring in the Energon Igniter Core here. You can just plug this into his hand if you want to, because reasons, you know, just because. He wants to hold things. He likes to hold things. I don't know. Um, if you don't want to do that, there is a port on his back. So you can just take it and plug it back here. Store it on his back. Hey, it's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you... Ah! You can do this. Hey! You can do that too. That's his interpretive dance. Woo! I don't know. But there you have that, and now for comparison! Here it is with the smaller Energon Igniter Bumblebee. So you can see how that works out. That doesn't work out too well. Here he is with the Last Night Deluxe Barricade. So 
you can see how that scales there again definitely larger here it is with power of the primes voyager starscream so you can see these figures are basically voyager heights so there you go just because here it is with the uh masterpiece movie barricade just 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 because and here it is with the masterpiece movie bumblebee so you can see how they look side by side so there you go so there you have barricade um you know as i said at the top of the video you know the, these are better than the smaller energon igniters but not not by much not not by much at all barricade here is is just okay it's basically a Voyager class figure with Legends Engineering. Um, I genuinely don't know why his legs can't move forward and back. Like, there's really no reason why they couldn't have put that joint into this figure. That would have made a lot of difference. But you know, hey, it is what it is. So yeah, he's just he's he's just okay. But I had to get it because it's Barricade. I love my Uncle Barry. I love my Uncle Barry. So there you go. Now I pick these up at my local Targets. Uh, you can also get Transformers movie toys from BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Transformers movie toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Bumblebee Movie Nitro Series of Barricade. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Home in your face. Lord Megatron! Yes, Barricade! Whoa! What? What? What is this? What are you wearing? Oh, this? Well, uh, no, I just had a great idea. Everybody expects me to be disguised as that new car, but if I disguise myself as an old car, no one will know it's me. And how will this not make you stick out like a sore... you? Like what you're wearing is so subtle. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, you don't have to be subtle when you look this good!